Welcome to Non-Fungible Guys. This week, we were on Blake CNFT's weekly market update YouTube live stream, and we decided to share that with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the conversation with Blake. Welcome to Blake CNFT. This is the channel and the podcast that's dedicated to educating and inform you guys on what's going on in Cardano and Cardano NFTs. I try to put projects in front of you that I think deserve your attention and you decide if they deserve your ADA. This is the Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern CNFT weekly market update, episode 50. So we're coming up on that one year here in a couple of weeks. We've got some special guests in the green room that we'll bring on here in just a second, but just wanted to welcome everyone in the chat. We've got Oside, Relic, uh, J-Hub, uh, Dustin, Crawfish, uh, and others. Um, if you guys are new to this live stream, we love to take your comments and just kind of weave them in and out as we discuss the top 10 CNFTs of the last seven days by weekly uh, trading volume. Uh, so please um, engage in the conversation. I want to hear your guys' thoughts, but... Let's bring on the Non-Fungible Guys podcast. We've got Ryan and Devon. Welcome on. What's going on? Yo, what's good? It's good, <laughs> it's good to have you guys on. Um, we, we were just talking uh, before we went live about uh, our, short, our short crossing of paths at CNFTCon. <laughs> and then, uh, as most people know, I had to dip out a day early, uh, so I wasn't even there Sunday. Um, but anyways, it's, uh, it's good to chat with you, even, even virtually, so... Yeah, uh, it'll be I, a will fun say, night. I will say uh, Blake's taller than you think, which is good. It's like that's like the opposite <laughs> of what normally right. it is. Everyone's like, yeah, he's smaller in person. No, he's taller. And I remember like, you know, we, there'd be like groups and then this like shadow that like there'd be like a shadow cast over everyone. I was like, oh, oh, it's you. It's you. So, yeah, it was, yeah. Cool. It was cool. Or, or Cardano Thor, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're true. like walking next to him and I'm just like two steps and he takes one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. That, that makes sense. Anyways, well, oh, well, yeah, we should introduce ourselves or something. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I, I was just going to say, um, you know, there's a lot of new people to Cardano NFTs, and they're starting to find some of the different channels. And you guys aren't specifically Cardano NFTs, but you do you talk about them a lot on your yes. show. So uh, for those uh, that are new, uh, who are you guys? Go ahead, uh, Devon. Me? Is it me? <laughs> You're the mouthpiece. You go you, ahead. Me, um, me. I know, right? So we are uh, non we're non fungible guys, like. We have a podcast. It's called Non Fungible Guys. Uh, Devon Blake. It was so good that you like got the name like Devon, not Devin. Like I didn't have to say yeah. it. You just knew. I, I knew. Um, yeah, we cover all the <laughs> Web three stuff. But we started in Cardano and Cardano, Cardano, and we love it. And uh, that's where we talk about most of the stuff. But yeah, uh, we said blockchain. we said Cardano, Cardano for I don't know. 45 episodes yeah 45 episodes and yeah. then we finally talked to josh miller in a twitter space and we're like is it cardano or cardano and he's like yeah. cardano we're like and he Damn. said it so fast he was he like did. it wasn't he did no hesitation he was like, cardano we're like uh, yeah and he was like next was, question and i was like okay never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was who asked whatever. that yeah pretty much i was like uh, non-fungible guys here we we don't know shit yeah that's our uh, motto but, um, actually we don't know we, shit don't oh. listen to us yeah, I like that. financial advice, right? I like well, it. It's more so like we kind of since we look at so much different shit, it's like, oh wait, sorry. That's all right. That's <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Um, like we like we we deep dive a little bit sometimes, but then it, we, we skim and like you can't deep dive into everything, right? Like you just can't. It's just right. not possible. So sometimes um it's like we just don't deep dive. Like it's that's that's our motto. Yeah. Right. And and for you know, even myself, I, I do tend to like poke around very I skim over some stuff in different blockchains, but like you said, I mean, it's, it's hard enough to become like a Cardano NFT expert 
even yeah. having a channel and doing all this for you know almost you know over a year and a half so uh yeah. i totally understand um but uh good to see tommy in here from freedom 35ers oh, uh they're excited hey, to see you guys on, on on the show um but uh what else uh you guys have been doing your show for over a year now so you guys have you know look the content's hard or like keeping that consistency up like we kind of on this screen we kind of get that firsthand so i mean props to you guys for for hitting that one year milestone that's a big that's a big deal uh thank you as you so chuckle much. <laughs> well we just want we just he laughs because we say it a lot on the episodes that we just wanted to get through eight eight episodes that was our goal let's just do eight and see what happens and now we're i guess we're up to like 65 this, now this is 65 that's awesome well, well yeah. yeah that's big yeah. Yeah, That's so big. it's been and it's funny like learning as we've been going too. We we started off we're like okay, let's do a couple so that we can bank some, and then we quit. I think it took like two episodes, and we're like, listen, this space moves way too fast. You can't you can't right. bank anything unless it's like an interview that's not necessarily specific to a drop or a mint or whatever. Exactly. Other than that, we're like, well, okay, I guess we're just doing this every week now, and we've done it consistently every week. So yeah, it's been fun. And it's just like like we said, we, we don't take ourselves too seriously and we're just learning as we're going. So yep. to go back, it's like listening to some of the mistakes for Cardano and Cardano, right? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like little things like that. It's just funny to laugh at. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's for, for anyone in the chat or watching the replay who wants to do YouTube or I mean, I guess I'm, guess I'm thinking specifically Cardano, but like. It, it, it sounds so trivial to be like, just show up every week, but like how yeah. hard is it to actually show up every single week and like have something prepared? You know, it's crazy. Yep. It's Ryan crazy. and I have been friends since we were 12 or something. Yeah. And you know, we might not make it after the podcast. That's it. <laughs> no, no, <I'm> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I get no, it. I like get it. it's, it gets trying sometimes. And like, I don't, it's a wonder that we like, not like we're not, we're not here, but like it's, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Well, Good job, Ryan. Proud of you, buddy. Good job. Yeah. High five. Air, Air five. Yeah. Air <laughs> five. Um, all right. So let's, let's dive into, um, but anyways, just, I guess the, the final, the final tie off on that is your podcast NFG. Is it non-fungible? I think it's NFG podcast is what you would search. Uh, the, your, the, their stuff's in the video description uh, yes, I like think near the top. So just go ahead and their Apple and Spotify links are there. Yeah. The, the ad is like a, the full word, non-fungible guys, one word, but like, yeah, NFG. Yeah. Yep. So go, go check them out. Listen to a, listen to some episodes. They've got, they've got a, a great library for you guys to check out. Um, but the top 10, uh, as usual that we, that we hit up here for the weekly update. Number one is ape society coming in at 429,000 ADA in volume, a lot lower than what we had seen just two, three, four weeks ago. Um, our 24 hour volume is, you know, 750,000, which, you know, is, is lower than it was, uh, we were kind of hitting daily volume. I mean, we, we peaked out at like 4 million during that kind of mini mini bull run that we had. And now we're back down to bear market levels, you might say, uh, 750,000. Um, so not as much excitement, but some stuff has still been minting out and you'll see a couple of new and uh, some newcomers to the space, you know, doing pretty well. So, uh, yeah. but I guess just jumping, I don't, I don't know if you guys have any comments on that mini bear market or uh, we can just kind of jump into Ape Society. But yeah, any any thoughts on that? It's been fun. <laughs> yeah it has been fun yeah it it's um it's you know okay so the the, the mini bear market that we're it, it sucks because we were kind of like crypto winter it might be ending you know we're getting excited if you look at ada in general it had been just a little bit of a climb and then you know and, I, and it's the same it's weird because at the same time you know we're like maybe this is going to change soon and then things happen FTX, Binance, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say, change things. But, um, but we weren't actually as affected as, as other, as other uh, blockchains. We actually right. have weathered it quite well, but still the sentiment carries through regardless. So, I mean, to be honest, the mini bear, I'm not too worried about it. Not like I'm in that project. Um, and even, and just to give kudos to you, Blake, like with you, I know like before people were like, ah, oh, you sold at, you sold your Ape Society like at like nine or eight or yeah, whatever nine. it was. It's freaking great you know what i mean like that's the that's the play that's the kind of way like you know you're i like i liked it i was profits, like it's profit, all right right yeah profits profit so yeah i think we just have to like i didn't we have to really really settle in for the fact that yeah it's just because it's the holiday season doesn't mean it's gonna just change the market's the market man winter's coming get ready yeah 
We live I mean, in Canada, so I'm bundled up. I'm, I went full <laughs> Canadian regalia today. You know, we got five centimeters of snow last night. We yeah, Sorry, that's... what is that in inches for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't put me on the spot on that on that transfer. No one knows. It doesn't uh, matter. It yeah, it's, it's whatever. Just say yeah. it's five inches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So, but yeah, market wise, like you just this is one of the ones like you just have to kind of just long term looking and just chill out and don't freak out about it. I I think most people, in, unless you were. I mean, I, I don't know if I want to say delusional, but like you knew that it wasn't going to last like months and months, like it, having a macro bear market, having, you know, macro economic factors just across the board to be like, oh yeah, Cardano NFTs are just going to continually go up for the next four months. Like, I think, I think everybody knew in the back of their minds that it was kind of a little fun season. We didn't know how long it would last. Yeah. So yeah, I sold at nine, but you know, obviously it ran up to 16 and you know, okay, yeah. you, can, you can't, you can't call the top on those, but it's like, Hey, I, you know, bought it to not even a month ago. So it's like, do you take yeah. the quick, almost five X? Yeah, of course. You 100%. know, anyways, so it's like, uh, I, t- I held on to a dirt bird for almost a year and then yeah. sell. And then like a month later, goodbye. I just saw, <laughs> I the exact I saw, same thing. I saw fly off. I was like, all right, well that was, yeah. it. I should have just held. Now yeah. it's like, I'm going to yeah. hold everything forever. Yeah. Um, let's see, uh, Ada Legends in here, Cloud. Good to see you. Uh, Flat Dark Earth or Metric does not exist. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> Crawford, awesome. Crawford says two ish inches. I, I figured it was lower. I figured it was lower. Um, yeah. All right. So I guess we we kind of talked a little bit a little bit about Ape Society, but they're yeah. they're kind of f- flattening out around nine thousand, which is kind of the new floor that they're kind of establishing here. Um, your thoughts on Ape Society? Did you? Whenever it first came out, what were your impressions? Did you ever kind of flip one along the way? Are you holding one? Ryan, you want to go into this? You're not going to like this, Blake. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, boy. I got nothing. I um, got nothing for it. So we, Good before, yeah, yeah. before we, were, we got online, we, we talked about kind of a, a situation where there was a project I didn't like. I'm not going to name it again. And I kind of just got, not foot in the mouth, but I artist, the artist was on our podcast and I had to be like, I don't like your, I don't like the art, you know? Yeah. It was tough. Um, and I think, I, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like I, I'm an, I'm tired of animals. Uh, so that's the sentiment I kind of stuck with and, you know, foolishly, I mean, like I, I have to, I, I do like art and I do care about what it looks like, uh, you know, regardless. And at the time I was just like another ape, screw it. So <laughs> I've just not been in at all. Yeah. Um, at CNFT con, I poked around, looked at everything and I was like, this is cool. It looks great. I like it. And I'm going to be honest, did not look into it. It's just one of those ones that I just have my blinders on because I'm, I'm not like butthurt about it. I'm just like, Hey, there's some you're not going to make and that's completely fine. So I like, okay, I will say this, all the shit they're doing, um, with the cabins and we'll probably talk about that after, you know, like the model and how they're leveraging their, um, their capability to do, you know, their minting and like their mentorship and all that, that's freaking cool. Like, you yeah. know, I will not say that the whole project is garbage because I'm not a fan of ape projects or, you know, primate projects, whatever well, you want to call it. This is where deep diving kind of helps you because I mean, I'm sure yeah. all of it was all laid out in the white paper, but so much going on in the space. And we tend yep. to try, we try not to just pigeonhole ourselves with Cardano, but I saw it and I, I just like, oh, the artwork's pretty cool, but it just wasn't for me at the time. And it's funny sitting back, just watching everything. I have a, a great ability to be able to look at good projects and then walk away from it and just now mint them. That's what, It's like my superpower. It's like, oh, I don't, I don't like money. I'll just yeah, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, hate it so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I think I think it goes to show like when, when Ape Society first came out, there was obviously a lot of, you know, at, already at that point, which was back in February, like they were already another eight project. Exactly. But the founders took them to a, and delivered and took them to a place where they're now the highest floor price of any large quantity, you know, Cardano NFT. Yep. Um, as as well, you you have to give credit to the community as well. Like they they had diamond hands, they still have diamond hands. Uh, like two per, less than two percent or about two percent listed for basically the entire time of that run up and and right. back down. Yeah. So it's like you know you have to have a strong level of conviction to to get to that kind of level um you know and consistency yeah consi- yeah it's been it's been good yeah so you oh. had you know you had a lot of people that were really excited about the cabins of course and so the cabins were going crazy and people were using society to buy all these frames so that you could stake 
your yeah. apes, and then you could also stake non apes, and you earned like a daily reward. I'm still earning, I don't know, like 15 or something society a day um, yes. on my non apes that I have in there. Um, but I think once that, it, uh, this is kind of my analysis of it. Once that, once you have less buyers buying frames and staking the frames, you just have sellers taking profits off of what they're making on, on their daily returns. Yeah. And, and I, this is actually interesting because I think there's, there's another topic that we'll be talking about later where uh, just the idea of play to earn. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I don't want to kind of spoil that too much. You have to watch to the end of the episode. Um, but <laughs> uh, it's the hook. But I, I think that's what's happening. I don't think there's like, and, and, and I, I'm not in Twitter spaces all the time. I know that Congo and the team are really good at like just being present. Like they're, yeah. they're in their discord, they're in the Twitter spaces and they're talking constantly. Um, I heard some rumors and, or um, not even rumors, but like mumblings that things were said and whatever. Like, I don't know if I want to play the, he said, she said game, but like, I don't think that's necessarily affecting it too much. I think they're still, you know, incredibly strong. And, um, so anyways, this could be a good time after all this initial hype because their, their next catalyst event is then the craftsmen are actually going to start to be able to build stuff, uh, inside of their game for your cabin. So like, then that's going to be another use case for the society token. Um, so yeah, there's, there's still more stuff down the line. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good point. When I saw the cabins, um, I actually did think, okay, maybe, um, and then I, full disclosure, I just forgot. That's, yeah. that's usually Ryan's like, screw it. I just forget. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but society it, it's, that's impressive. Like for that, that they're, they're token to actually do something. Um, and like it moved. I don't remember the exact numbers, but like, I, I don't know. That's that's one. And if they're adding more utility to that, which obviously they're going to, right? I do think yeah. that's pretty good. So like, let me ask you this: like, future jump on jump in points for this project? Yay or nay? Like, is it the, the craftsman like building capability? Is that is that going to be worth it for some new people? Not to say that I will, because I probably won't consider that, <laughs> considering my public stance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You got like, to stick to your guns. You got to stick to your guns. Yeah, uh, like if you like secret secret wallets, I'm just minting over here. Like yeah, like, uh, yeah, right. Uh, you know, I, I think that again, we're, we're still, you know, CNFT jungle. We're still at the 2% listed out of a 7,000 collection. I mean, that's, that takes some conviction to, to get there. Um, and then they have their token price here on the side as well. Um, I don't know how close they are. Cause I'm not, uh, I think they're pretty close. I, I, and maybe like, I know cloud nine, I see cloud nine in here. He's, he's holding several ape societies. He probably would know more on when that's coming out, but I think that's going to be another catalyst event. Um, they also have these landmarks that are within their meta, uh, within their kind of metaverse or their their land situation. They have like six or seven more land reveals oh, wow. to go. Okay. So you know, yeah. if you're if you have a cabin inside of those land within those landmark districts, then that will give you added bonus and some society payouts and stuff. That I really did you like know. that kind of model. I thought that was that's what I was talking about earlier. Was, I think that's really really cool. Like there's different levels to your to your earning society, and I kind of like that model. So yeah, yeah. So but I'm sure that won't be the last time we see that, right? Yeah that that yeah. won't be that won't be the last time um, unless unless they really just bomb and and something. You know, you, you you can't you can't predict everything, but like I think barring a, a catastrophic event, whatever that whatever that means and whatever that looks like, I think Ape Society is still going to be a really strong player because I think they still have their community buy-in and I mean, they're the top dog right now. So no it's, problem. it's pretty difficult. It's, it's possible, but it's difficult to get knocked off of that peg. Yeah. Uh, CNFT trading daily. Good to see you in here. Um, uh, the passive income. Yeah. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to turn, turn around. Um, Greg is, is a big, big player in ape society, 700 society a day, level seven frame. Um, so so that's so that's what I'm saying. If if you have a level seven, wow. uh, Greg, and I would be curious to know, like, I'm guessing, you know, you're taking profits on this. Maybe you have, maybe all this, all that society is still. You're not claiming that yet, but I, you you've got to think that once people have these massive frames where you're getting that much society a day, you've you've got to have some selling pressure. That's where the selling pressure is coming from. Um, and when you don't have enough new buyers, then that's that's just where the price goes. That's just, you know, yeah. right. Um, um, I'm glad you you like put that comment. Um, I saw that and I was like, Oh, that's a good comment. Nice. Good job, Blake. You run the yeah. show. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've got some practice. Uh, okay. Mark's yeah. going to be the next big thing. So this is what the Jex PR is saying. So, and, and th that's, that's a much easier barrier to entry. You know, you've got a 600 a to play versus a 9,000 a to play. 
Yeah. You know, you've, you've got less skin in the game. <laughs> I'm in yeah, District yeah. 1. No, you're totally right. I'm with District 1 people. Uh, we've got a landmark coming out soon-ish. I don't know when that's coming out, but we have one that has a question mark on it, so it's not released. Um, uh, Cloud9 says not. Uh, that's the next Catalyst event. Landmark reveals as well, but when cabins open up and all those me the mechanics go live, that's going to be big. Yeah, be when huge. the craftsmen are able to start doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lazy T. Hey, it's the podcast, guys. <laughs> 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 He's um, a goof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He's he's a goober. Um, me so well at CNFT. That was so good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, see, we've got we've it. got ape whales in here. A thousand society a day. Damn. Um, I, I don't with with the new. Let's just see what that is a day. A thousand society is still eighty eight ADA a day. That's pretty good. Wow. Even yeah, even with nice. even with the dip. Um, cloud nine. I picked up two equine pioneer horses. He's got 15 total. He's beaten me now. Two medium custom domes from Cornucopias tonight. Feeling good about those buys. I think equine is a great buy still. Uh, yep. And I think Cornucopias is in a dead zone right now. It's in a quiet zone. Uh, I picked up a large custom dome a couple weeks ago for about 1000 I don't know what the price is on, the, on those. But with the small land plots being under 200 it makes me want to just like sweep like 5 to 10. Hmm. Um, if if that if if a metaverse is going to succeed, they've got they they're the front runners on that. Um, Virtua too, but Virtua is kind of playing more of like a social hub, and Cornucopias is playing more of the gaming Unreal yeah. Engine kind of thing. Uh, so they've got they've got different sections of the metaverse market. But um, yeah, I think those are two good plays. Um, we're we're just kind of staying at number one for this is going to be a long episode, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, I've been Ada Legend is a is a big holder as well. Um, I've been in there since the beginning and know the entire community. The average age of holders is 30 to 50 and successful. We don't care too much about the price. The value is where it's at. And, th and that, th I get that, yeah. I get that sentiment and they're just like, Hey, we're going to just keep getting the passive income and we're, we're fine with it. Cause most of them got in when the apes were at 300, you know, they just bought right, like right. 30 apes at 300 ADA. You know, that's basically the price of one ape now. Uh, so yeah, yeah. you're, you're just kind of holding on that. Um, Yikes. Then, Shut yeah, up, so, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you can't you can't win them all. Can't. What we were what, what were we doing in February? We were in a different blockchain. That was remark time, or just before it. And we'll yeah. talk about that after too. Actually, you know what? Let's let's move it. It's your show, Blake. Go, go <laughs> no, ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's great. I love it. Uh, number two is the Ore mob. Or mob. I don't know what to say. Somebody corrected me and said it's Ore. I'm just gonna call it Ore mob. I, don't, I, I don't say care. Or 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 yeah, Or mob. Yeah. He, yeah. He, you know, he was on the space on we had, we did a space way back and. It was like ore ore. I think is rich, that what it is? rich from crypto boutiques is ore ore ore. Yeah, but, that's true because of his yeah. accent. <laughs> but I mean, I say yeah. or or mob. Yeah. We'll so say whatever I, you want. I think that some of the initial hype is dying down. I mean, we're kind of at almost coming up on one month. So ten twenty five, yeah. I think, was the mint price. So we're yeah. we're about a, ten days away from that. You know, they're they're holding really strong. For an art community project, yep. you normally don't see this, or I don't know if I've ever seen this, especially with a 10K collection. Yeah, it's a big uh, collection. They're um, they're they're holding up really strong. So, actually, let's see what their whole listing percentage is, and and, I, and that's what Open CNFT doesn't have. Mm. Uh, unless, yeah, there we go. Let's see what percent listed they are. What is that? Seventeen percent listed. Hmm. Uh, that's pretty high. That's yeah. uh, normally yeah. under yeah. ten is kind of where I look, but you know that doesn't necessarily mean it's like a super red flag. It's just hey, that's a good statistic to know. That's that's a pretty it, big amount that's listed. It, it is. It might just be people happy with the price, thinking okay, like you know, I can flip here. But I I, I don't know. I don't know how it translates. Um, I yeah. liked when when we, they were on the pod or the a space we did. I really liked everything about. Um, the artist, the, the team, and everything like that. I'm like their Instagram presence and everything was fucking huge. Like, so it was. I think. Huge. Well, it was. Yeah, it was. Um, well, it but is. It is. when it came, yeah, like this is like truly. I, I liked it because first of all, I like anime. I think it's a really good, a really good anime art project. There are there are a couple, some better than others, but I, I did like this. I was like, this is the real deal. Um, and I think when we were talking, I made like into, I likened it to. Um, Doro Hidoro. And like, he was like, yeah, that's a huge anime that I love. And it was like, I could see how serious it was. So I was like, this is cool. Um, but, and this sucks. Cause like, it just shows how much Ryan, like when, when you spread yourself thin across web three, you don't, you don't get to like 
focus in anywhere. And then when the mint price came, Ryan, I, Ryan and I were just like, yeah, threw our hands up and we were like, um, it's over. Yeah, I was, I had a whitelist. I didn't mint. I'll admit yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't like it after the whole, we're going to pause the mint and go back and this and that. I was like, I oh, forget it. I'm out. And I there's just, a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of details that people neg- like forget about whenever the price goes crazy. But like, there was yeah, a lot totally. of, uh, when they first tried, the market was in a completely different position. Yep. You know, complete bear, you know, nobody was minting anything and they were going to do a 10 K at two fifty, like <laughs> for an art project. Like nobody yeah. had ever done that. He, I mean, props to him, the artist for the confidence of like, for yeah, sure. this is what my art is worth. And if you want it, you can buy it anyway. So then, then they did the reset and then it just started flying off the, yeah. Once they the started press. baking up all the, we got to pause it. We're going to do this. I, I backed out. I was like, you know what? I'm done. I left the discord and I was like, man, I'm okay well, with yeah, it. I wasn't a big fan of the artwork anyways, but I mean, it is what it is. But I like that though, Ryan, like you're like, um, and I, and at that time we had like, we had seen, we had been in some rugs and whatnot. And I think that bullshit detector, that kind of like lack of organization or like, yeah, we're doing this, but we're switching it out. If there's anything that, that, perks ryan's ears up or whatever it's like what like that looks like it's like we're waiting for the bigger buy or the big yeah. like and like i i personally don't like that either you know so it just seemed like i'm like we're like sure we value the art we know where you're coming from but it was also like you've been in the art world you're, you've done this I, th- I know you're pushing for something here and we're not denouncing that because i think the project's great i like it but uh that that was enough for us to be like screw it we, nfgs sound like a bunch of haters eh? every project you bring on we're like we don't like it <laughs> we regret or we <laughs> hate. like it yeah we're like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Guys are in the comments being like, "Yeah, I got three. I'm assume- making tons of ADA. and we're like, "Don't I, care. I'm not buying it." I don't even think. <laughs> I don't even think I own one thing on the top ten right now. <laughs> I don't. I love that. I, I, I miss Clay Nation on their first drop. Mm. One of our buddies got it, so it's like a little soft spot for me. I'm like, ah, oh, that bastard. And he hit a. What did he hit? He hit like a green superhero. So he made off like a bandit with oh it. yeah we don't but, talk about that for a number of reasons yeah whatever it is what it is <laughs> but but i'm like i'm going down the list of like where man i've missed a lot <laughs> yeah but yeah it is what it is i mean i bypass on or mob but hey kudos to them i mean they're still like you got you said the volume's down a bit but their uh floor they're, price they're is holding, nice they're holding steady even even with that high listing percentage they're still yeah. holding a steady floor of 490 Definitely. which is double double the mint or yeah about yeah. double the mint price yeah. yeah so it's impressive uh <laughs> my guy prof prof's like hey check out the listing percentage of cardano crocs club <laughs> all right prof, <laughs> prof's one of my channel members i'll do that for you we got a whopping one percent of eight thousand six hundred nfts 65 are listed that's pretty good wow 398 a so floor price pretty strong pretty strong yeah, there you go i there saw go, them prof in the rankings just outside of the top 10 i was just like are they few don't want to talk about that oh that's mutants <laughs> that's mutants oh uh, no it was earlier on i was checking oh, er, oh, stuff. oh yeah. gotcha oh yeah here they are 22 yeah they fell nice. a bit <clears throat> i love it i love it there you go prof um flat dark earther says i wasn't going to mint until we got all that volume so yeah i mean people who yeah. were kind of really in tune and I, and I was talking with jason from you know block is hot and he was saying he was looking at the on chain he was like the whitelist like is going it's going crazy. Yeah. So he was just kind of looking at it, it happening in real time, uh, and he was like, we, "We've got to we've got to jump in on this because, kind of unbiased, I just he just happened to be at the right place at the right time watching it on chain, and he's like, we we've got to get in on this because it's just kind of going crazy. Yeah, uh, got that hype factor. The snowball started going. It was yeah, um, it definitely did did that. I remember watching it, and I was like, ah, should I go back? And I was like, nah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just uh, I'm like ah, move. I don't on. like money. You, you yeah, don't like money. Exactly, it's a superpower. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> don't uh, let Ryan dog himself too much. He's 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 done some good plays. Yeah, yeah. He, he, I, I know, I know. You know, Ryan. Uh, uh, Ryan, you're you're all right, buddy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's why we're still friends. See, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna make it after all. You guys said you wouldn't stay friends after the after the podcast. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Crawfish says to check out Ghost Chain. This this might just be like, hey, let's just let chat decide where we're gonna check. For <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Floor listings. So two percent for Ghost Chain. Yeah, I was gonna say they're always pretty low, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Uh, I was uh, gifted a ghost by by a friend, so uh, shout out to them. They know who they are. Nice. Um, okay, uh, let's see what else do we have. We got number three, NFT yes. Seeker. I have no idea what this is. This is a brand. This is brand new. So yeah, okay. W- welcome That's to the show. We're gonna tell you about perfect. NFT Seeker. Uh, awesome. no. <laughs> 
uh, actually Atlantic is kind of the guy who was like um, talking a lot about these guys. He actually did an interview with them on his lucky ocean podcast. I'm pretty sure. I think they're, I think they were like OGs in his discord community, okay. um, but they're kind of a full utility project and they've got a bunch of different like tools for traders uh, right here, bunch of tools for traders and product project founders. Okay. Um, I thought I had their site pulled up and we can just go here, I guess. Um, here are a few of their, uh, I don't, I didn't see the mint price. Someone in chat, what, what was the mint price for a seeker? I think it was maybe 250, 200. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, they had 3,333. Good, good. Supply. And they just minted a week ago or six days ago. Um, and some of the tools. So you have a sniping tool, which is similar to, I right, me zoom this in. Yeah. Okay. Got a sniping tool, which is similar to like a jungle or, uh, I think there's another one that I'm just blanking on. Um, and then this one, you know, you can get deals faster. Yeah. Uh, so if something gets listed, then you can try to, you know, take it off the market before it even might even get listed on JPEG store. Uh, you got an aggregator and you can watch listings and sales. Uh, they also have some really cool discord stuff, but I don't know if it's going to show it here. Uh, it shows this here, but like, um, you can have like watch lists and it sends you like a discord, like pings you on discord of like, Hey, this is listed or like, you know, oh, so you can even cool. have something like that where you've got a notification system automatically for traits or a collection or something that you're interested in. Um, that, that might be part of the aggravator to aggregator on Discord. Uh, you can organize your different inventory. You can do your trading history, uh, some other cool. stuff like that. Holder verification, auto mod, and you can even mint with uh, if you have. I don't know. Maybe if you have one, you can do this easy anti bot minting system. Huh. as well as like, you know, wild tanks does this as well. And some other ones, you know, there's lots of other minting services, but you know, pretty much a full utility project. Um, and then you would like register, which basically means you're kind of connecting your uh, wallet to make sure you have the NFT. And then they kind of open the suite of tools for you. I don't have one. Maybe I, you know, I didn't do enough research. I, I watched Atlantic talk about it a couple of times, but yeah. um, do you think you would, uh, you would like, so first of all, I, I, yeah, I didn't know anything about them, but I checked them out a little bit and looked at their light paper. Some of the features that they've got planned and that you've mentioned are like really, they sound really, really good. Clearly, I think if you're listening to this stream, you can tell these aren't features that the NFT juggernauts that Ryan and myself are. We don't need these tools. <laughs> but like, maybe, maybe, do you think you would use some of these? Like, so, like one of them that's further in the white paper, or sorry, the light paper is um, they have like a passive, passive income capability from renting your nfts and like i mean that's not, not the newest thing but like it just seems it seems like a, a decent full featured suite of tools like kind of in like one spot done by just yeah. like the two of them i i don't know it looks it looks pretty cool so well yeah i i have a wild tangs just just one so that i can kind of get access to that yeah whatever set of tools that thad ends up developing or he's already developed so i i, I like to have my hands in, in those projects um, I do like the idea, like with as a Discord owner or like creator of a Discord, or I have my Discord uh, plug for my Discord, and you should join it. Um, like holder verification, like if I ever did a project or if I wanted to have different, you know, verification levels, and I wanted somebody, I don't want to take the time, I can't develop it myself. Yeah. Uh, that could be really cool. Auto mod, I mean, I have some mods. Shout out to my mods in chat, or just like if they're going to be, if we're all asleep, you know, and somebody's trying to spam something, like that could be a, like a a useful hmm. tool. Um, for sure. So for 230 ADA, is it worth kind of having some of that Discord stuff? Yeah, I mean, probably. I'm, I'm not a big like flipper of, I don't have like a ton of listings going on at the same time. So I probably wouldn't utilize the sniping tool as much as somebody hmm. else. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe this data thing would be interesting because I'm kind of a, you know, I like to look into some, some analytics. So maybe that would be, if I actually got to see a dashboard of it. I'm sure there yeah. are. Things Do you know uh, one of the things they push to is like the the rarity chart checker? Do you like use anything right now? I mean, like that, where you're like really deep diving into the rarity charts well, and you can compare things well, or are you just aggregating from, from everywhere else, from JPEG and from like everywhere else you check? It, it's funny. It's funny you ask that because people people keep asking me because uh, I do these live streams. Yeah. I have this uh, jungle uh, Chrome, ex uh, this extension. Oh man, I, I was going to ask you about that. I saw it when like I was watching your previous vid and I was yeah. like, I don't have that. I'm like, that, that's a jungle Chrome extension. And I was like, this is awesome. And I was yeah, like, that is awesome. So that's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah. Pe people are like, Hey, how did you get this Chrome extension? And I'm like, I don't know. I, <laughs> cause I went <laughs> looking for it and I couldn't find it. So, well, I, 
I basically joined, I, I heard about jungle instantly in like November of 21. And I was like, I'm just like, I basically downloaded the Chrome extension then. And yeah. I bought, I, they had their lifetime passes that were like a hundred ADA. And in my mind last year, I was like a hundred ADA. That's crazy expensive. I was <laughs> I know, be, like right? spending yeah. thousands yeah, yeah. of ADA on stuff. Um, but I bought like a monthly su- subscription, like the, like the 30 ADA version. Um, and it was like, you know, two months subscription or three months. So I, I, my subscription ended and I don't have like an access key, but I still somehow see these rarity rankings. So if you download the, the jungle extension, maybe you can get that. I really don't know how it happened. Life hack. Yeah, if, maybe I'm you grandfathered ever, in. You get a new laptop or computer and you're done. Like you, you yeah, yeah. do an upgrade, it's over. Yeah. So I did use this a couple times. I mean, look at this. Like this is, if, if you like the specific NFT and you care a lot about rarities, like, I mean, this is 3000 yeah. in terms of the rank. On jungle, jungle's ranking, it's like three thousand cheap, uh, more rare. So it's funny because OpenSea has started to add that into their on their stuff for Ethereum and, and what else is it Polygon? They're uh, what, they oh. have it now just kind of built in. I don't know what they're using, but they kind of have the same thing set up automatically within their their marketplace now. Yeah. So that's that's basically the only like trait stuff I use. Through JPEG store. And then I'm also still like, like, again, I use OpenSea NFT just because that was kind of the first tool at the time for analytics that was actually decent. And then um, I still love CNFT tools. So, like, mm-hmm. when I'm looking for equine pioneer horses, when I'm just checking, okay, what, I'm, what, what are the total stats? Where are the prices for those? I'll use CNFT.tools to, to, look, at, to look at some of those. Nice. Um, so, that, those are some of the tools I use. But yeah, I mean, NFT, it's, I heard, because I didn't mint, uh, I heard the mint didn't go super smoothly. Some people were frustrated by that. Uh, but, you know, I think the, I, did somebody ever say the price? I didn't, I wasn't checking the, uh, uh, I haven't no. seen it come up. Is that, is it not smoothly in terms of like its execution or just like sales? Uh, no, I, they sold out. I think it was, um, the execution, like stuff got paused. Yeah. I, That's I think a there was a very bad sign considering what they do. I oh. never mind. <laughs> Devon, sorry. always, always bring in the shade. Always bring I'm the sorry. Shade. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. NFTs, hey. guys, listen to our podcast. It's basically like this, but worse. <laughs> CNFT Trading Daily had the, that's a hilarious comment. When Cardano City Moon. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I that's just amazing. left. I've been in their Discord the whole time, and I just they start muting after Ryan leaves. I one. just left their Discord <laughs> yesterday, so you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what was funny because we. We were we did our re- a recap episode way back in in August. We were like, ah, we hit fifty or sixty episodes or whatever, and we talked about that. And then we went and checked, and there was a guy that was in there who had messaged like, you know, a, a week ago, and it was like, hey guys, you still here? So like, <laughs> there's there are people that go in there that I think just to troll and be like, 100%. still here, waiting, like, oh, <laughs> it's yeah, I, I, I would totally, I totally understand that. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dusty. Dusty, my guy. So yeah, it, they're basically holding floor price. Yeah. Okay. Holding floor price. That's not um, bad. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Even even with some of the FUD of whatever happened with the Mint. Uh, Devon, Devon, Devon uh, if you have spreading. any questions, you can ask Devon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So that, that brings us to um, our episode sponsor of the night, which is the Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe. Uh they were on actually shout out to freedom 35ers. They were on with them on Monday. So if you want to get kind of a super deep dive, like an hour long uh, interview, you should go check out the freedom 35ers video. Um, I will be having uh, uh, D tonks on the channel as well, but it'll be post mint. Um, but this is the keyboard warriors internet cafe. Uh, they're going to be minting the 26th of November. Now these guys are in Australia. And so the the times are a little bit weird. The time the time changes. So in terms of the in terms of Eastern time, it says that the the whitelist mint is the twenty sixth, if I'm correct. Yeah. So on on their Discord, it says the mint date is twenty sixth and twenty seventh. But what I'm seeing here is it's actually at two a.m. Eastern time on Friday, November twenty fifth. It's going to be a twenty four hour. Uh, pre-mint window, or sorry, 2 p.m. November 25th. So they're, they're a day ahead of us in terms of like time zones. So you can do your calculation wherever you are in the world from 2 p.m. Eastern on the 25th for the whitelist. 
And then after 24 hours, it'll be a public. Uh, but all whitelist spots are full. So basically, I talked about these guys two weeks ago. I'm not saying that I'm the cause of their success, but uh, whenever I was talking about them a couple of weeks ago, they still had plenty of spots in their whitelist. And I think more people have started to hear about them. They appreciate kind of the art style, kind of retro. Um, you've got a little bit of um, pop, a, a ton of pop culture references uh, kind of scattered throughout the collection. A lot of unique pieces. Um, there is some uh, drama going on about the name, and I've got a I've got a thread pulled up that we'll chat about later. You have to stay till the end of the episode to kind of hear that. But I think these guys look awesome. Uh, kind of the TLDR of that whole drama situation is I'm still going to be minting, so uh, you guys can all have your opinions on that and make your own decisions. But uh, I think these are really cool looking and. I'm going to actually try to <laughs> go pretty hard and see if I can mint something rare. Uh, but, you know, talking with the team, I, I think they've, I think they've got something really interesting. They've got a really, you know, strong artist. They've got some ideas for like this, uh, you know, quick verse or this kind of metaverse thing where they're going to be going into like a Pavia or a boss plan or something like that. And kind of having their own little space for these warriors. But really like, I, I'm not saying that that's not going to be successful. I, I, I would just say I would mint just for the artwork. And if they do anything else, like that's just a cherry on top. Great. Awesome. Um, because you know, the art's going to be the day one deliverable. That's just the cool stuff to look at. Um, so I'm definitely interested in this and I'm glad that, uh, they were able to, uh, we could get a partnership together and talk about keyboard warrior. So join their discord. I mean, you might not be able to get a whitelist, but you can at least, you know, go in, obviously do your own research, follow them on Twitter. You've got a couple more weeks. Um, they're, they're continuing to release some sneak peeks and some one of one of ones, um, and all that kind of stuff. So this is definitely, I don't know if I want to say definitely, but this is one of the most hyped mints right now on Cardano. And so, and it's like public, uh, pre mint, uh, sorry, whitelist is 55 ADA and public is 65 ADA. If you were able to mint during the public and the supply is 8,888, uh, November 25th for the pre for the whitelist mint 2 PM Eastern time. So basically right after Thanksgiving. Um, anyways, so that is the, uh, that's the keyboard warriors. Um, all right. Number four, we have clay nation and Ryan's already kind of talked about clay nation and he's a little, yeah. he's a little salty still. still um, salty. Anyway. this might be your time though. Honestly, like yeah. 3,100, you know, they've got, they've been, you know, they, they had a great, did you, did you like their booth at CNFT con? Uh, I did. It was actually pretty cool. I thought yeah. I thought that they had one of the best. I won't I won't go as far as to say the best, but I thought they had one of the best. Like when you walked in it, you're like, this perfectly matches. Yeah, what their yeah. branding and what their marketing is all about. And uh, I, I thought I thought they really pulled it off nicely. Yeah, they definitely did. They're they're in a quiet period. Um, they've sh they showed some teasers of their kind of metaverse that's built from scratch, like Sonic Village and Underworld, and they've obviously had these crazy partnerships. Um, you know, they're very close with Charles. They went to his ranch and like um, Champ, Medici, like, they, like they're all kind of in there together. Uh, best best holder distribution, I think, of any project on Cardano 10K with 4,300 holders. Um, That's pretty good. The floor was like 2,500 when I when I pulled the trigger on mine before the, the most recent pump. But like, I don't know. Clay is a very safe play in my mind. Um, I've also been watching the, the Clay token pretty pretty closely. Uh, I think I bought in a little too early. I got too eager because uh, now the f I bought at 0 0.036 and now it's 0 0.278, but I didn't buy my full bag. So now I can get in at a cheaper price. I think the clay token is undervalued. Of course, not financial mm -hmm. advice. I think the whole, I just think it's similar to like a cornucopia is like they're just in a quiet zone and they're, yeah. you, you know, for a fact that they're still building. They've got plenty of funds to do whatever they want to do. And I, I don't know. I think they're, they're poised to really, do something you can never time it perfectly, but being, you, being the resident contrarian here, I'm going to say, um, <laughs> you know what Blake's right. I agree with everything he's saying. Um, we, we didn't sleep on this. We just, we had, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Not everything needs to be out there, but, uh, that there's Ryan's butt hurt on it for a reason. And it's fine. It's not, he didn't sleep. He didn't like miss this one, whatever. Well, um, I did miss it. We well, yeah, yeah, I got my refund back back in the day when you just sent your aid yeah. off into the I know, ether. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, but I either hope way, I, get it back. I, I, I agree with Blake. I, I think that it's like we're familiar with them. We've seen them. 
We've got hyped at certain. Well, we got we got like, pitches. We're in the ecosystem. Well, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, pitches. I mean, as collectively as a as the community, we've seen them. We're kind of aware. Like, we're not like, hey guys, Clay still. You know, like we're just like, yeah, yeah, they're there. And yeah, I think yep. we're kind of taking them for granted, if you will, yep. until they pop up, and they'll probably pop up. I don't know, early next year or whatever. Like again, like same timing, and then we'll be like, oh shit, yeah, this really is. An so I think yep. that everything you said is totally right, and yeah, we we definitely recognized it earlier and we're like uh let's get something so we, we, we hopped in with pitches and stuff like that yep yeah. got a bunch of uh the clay too i think yeah, we it, got our clay tokens and everything so we're good you got the you got the five thousand allocation stuff yeah. yeah yeah for the for the land yeah yeah that, that was a good yeah that was awesome i mean i guess we got lucky technically because it was a lottery for the pitches too yeah how much did we get three or something or I yeah know. i think we hit three so and the reason we're saying we is because uh ryan and shared i wallet. share a purse oh a wallet is that what we call it oh yeah okay you we always call it the purse we I... have a purse that we share together so it's a and it's like put something it's a satchel. in the purse. It's a satchel. It's a satchel it's a satchel it's a, a man satchel so we we put certain projects that were like okay and we put it in there and so yeah we're we're okay moving on (laughs) i think i think if someone has been involved in cardinal nfts for an extended period of time and you're not in clay nation in some form holding the clay token uh good charlotte yeah um, yeah, yeah, fake nation like if you're not in anything i just like question what what else do they need to do to like earn your like trust or to earn like so so many different times throughout their kind of time on the chain from the very beginning, April 21, like they've just continually delivered. Um, yeah. And they're always going. So yeah, I, I just say it's, it's a quiet zone. I think it's, it's gonna, at some point it's going to go up. They've definitely hit every, every check mark. So it's like, ah, we'll leave them alone for now. They're building. Yeah. And they're going to come out and wow us again. So yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. going to be cool. Dusty, please, please don't talk about daylight savings. You're going to, you're going to trigger <laughs> me. I can't, oh. I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> Does Canada do daylight savings? Yeah, we went back yeah. an hour, oh. and it's just like everything. Ugh, UTC screwed me on a couple minutes. Or, uh, yeah, whatever. Yep. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, Ryan's pissed because there's definitely been some UTC <laughs> time stuff where we like messed up. Was there some some ETH project last year? We both woke up. Ryan was in Eastern time, and I was in Atlantic time, and we were up at like two and three in the morning which is the same time to like mint stuff. And I was like, this is bullshit, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The By Genesis, the way, it gets I dark. Yeah, it's dark at like four fifty now. Yeah, yeah it's but, so bad. Yeah, the UTC. What did I get screwed on the UTC for me? It was. Uh, what didn't? You? Sorry. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in number four of this, this is, list. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we'll keep going. This is a, a, not the "Woe is me" uh, podcast. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Blake. Yeah, no, it's away. great. It's great. Um, let's see. Let's see who else is chatting. Um, Crop. Crawford, uh, purse sounds so manly. See, there you go. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate purse, purse yeah. posse. You got, got the alliteration there. Uh, yeah, oh, anyways, man. that's just funny. That's so good. All right, number five, the space buds first collection, 10k collection on Cardano, yep. 171k volume. Uh, I don't think there's any, there's any crazy news. Uh, for those that are new, like I just said, first 10k collection. Had some FUD around the artwork, which was traced and basically, you know, stolen. You could say, yeah, uh, was not, that that artist was not part of the founding team. They just contracted an outside artist. Ended up, you know, coming out later on after they bought the rights from him. And then now they're working on redrawing the collection. Um, Alessandro, who's one of the biggest uh, developers in this space, has developed some, you know, Cardano protocols and created the Nami Wallet uh, yeah, berries, good. which was the first NFTs ever created. So. A very um, historic project, and they're kind of sitting around this four thousand to five thousand range after the um, mini bull run. Uh, but yeah, had a space bud. Everybody, for those of you that are in here every week, it's like okay, he's going to talk about the space bud again. Uh, I, a, tell me, I haven't heard it. Let's go. <laughs> a lot of space bud in December for forty four hundred, uh, and then after the artwork controversy, was able to after kind of the it's kind of like it kind of bounced, it kind of quickly recovered after the initial couple of days took profits ADA profits obviously the USD ADA value was screwed mm. but got got a profit out of it and kind of exited at that point I'm curious to get back in but uh have not pulled the trigger yet but uh love I, I like space buds just haven't got in yet I think the new collection is going to be cool too it does it feels like one of those projects that like you aspire to own and like you should not just like it's not like a it's like a, a piece of history 
Yeah. Yeah. Crawford. Yeah. Crawford's making me laugh. Yeah, I didn't I'm, say I'm Starsuit really... Bear, okay? I didn't say it. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Starsuit yeah. Bear left hand amulet. Okay, you make or me bazooka. make me bring it up again. I wish I had a bazooka. I could have bought oh man. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's the Wall Always Me podcast. Let's go. Yeah, this is great. I love it. Oh, so man. good. Oh my gosh. Just swap war stories. <laughs> yeah. Whenever whenever uh Space Buds first came out, big pay, uh big big YouTube channel. Um he was he made some videos about Space Buds right off the bat. I was trading. I was trying to trade with him specifically. Uh, he, you know, sent a picture of himself to like verify that it was actually him, and we were going to do like an escrow just trade between each other. And uh, he was like, you know, I'll sell you this frog or this, you know. I was trying to get a monkey bazooka, uh, and ended up that he had said that he had it, he, but he put the wrong serial number. And so I was looking at the collection. I was like, I want this monkey with the bazooka, uh, and it was like it was like eight hundred ADA. For this for this bazooka which they're now like 10k or whatever 8k something and um i sent him the ada and then he's like oh i don't have that one and i was like he's like but which which of these other ones do you want and i instead of getting another one i just said i just give me the money back and he gave it to me back give it back to me <laughs> and i did, just didn't buy one and i was like oh my uh, gosh so yeah <laughs> yeah uh, sorry for bringing funny. that up I yeah it's purpose. all right it's all right that's, that's my story time <laughs> Space Bud story time. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, another another OG project, Dead Pixels. Yep. Having a little bit of a resurgence. Um, AF was at CNFT Con. I didn't really get to chat with him, uh, but you know it was cool to see him there. And a lot of you know uh, Dead Pixels holders got to got to interact with. It's always good to be able to like see your founder, favorite founder. Um, sure. They've kind of had a little bit of you know just like a roller coaster ride. I guess most projects kind of have had their roller coasters at this point. Topping out at almost uh, at 4K. And uh, getting, you know, sitting here around half price from all time high. Um, I don't know at what stage this is. This is kind of a gaming project. Uh, I think it's like a turn based. You've got these little pixels, like three pixels versus three pixels, and you're going to kind of battle each other. Um, if you're a pixels holder, then you get revenue based off of um, people will be able to mint these pixels that will fight. And then depending on what traits they pick, if you're one of the 10k holders, then you'll get some of the revenue share of how many people are are buying these oh. pixels that don't like, kind of like temp. They're temporary NFTs, yeah, and like they'll lose their stamina or like they'll be lost after a certain battle or battles or something. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if anybody. I know we have some kind of pixel holders in here. If anybody has any updates, I just think they're kind of a stronger, more OG project, and so they're kind of making the top 10 just by virtue of kind of doing some good trading volume. Um, let's see if there's been any. I don't think there's been any bigger sales. Where are they at with their game development? Like I know like that that whole pixel war or whatever it's called. Like how far along? I mean, like, I don't know if you know that, but like what is, what is it? it out. What's kind of the sentiment there? Uh also their ding token. They've had some oh, yeah, uh, ding, ding yeah. airdrops. So if you stake your pixel, then you get the the dings there. That's probably one. Um they've had some bigger sales. 60k for a wow. kind of like a Kenny hoodie kind of thing. Looking uh eighteen five. So yeah, so they always have some some big sales. I'd say um, I don't even bother looking at them because I know I can never afford it right now. <laughs> yeah. I if you I, I don't I, I like the um I like the pixelated art style. I do. Like, you know, like that and like wraiths and stuff. I think those are actually very, very cool. Um they I guess the other thing, and this is old news, like people like the whole like, you know, double click your interact with your your it, you know. I, that's cool like that you can actually do that how they're like it's not a jpeg it's you know it's it's code or whatever um yeah i do like that aspect of it it and sorry to go off chain <laughs> um <Go ahead. laughs> Brian shaking his head <laughs> like, screw this guy i think he hates me um <laughs> but like yeah there's like there's a uh, a little bit a little bit yeah i get it yeah i get it on the kasama blockchain like there's re remark protocol which is and Ryan is deeper into it than I am, but like you can you can interact with your NFT in that way, and it's like they're trying to build that on chain and send emotes to it. And I think that whole capability is being tried out and pushed out in other blockchains as well. And I feel like it's pretty it's pretty cool that this conceptually this way has been around for quite some time. I do think that's like solid. I don't know, I don't like stick with this project at all, but I definitely yeah. respect it. In my I, respect, I think I think that means something. The remark protocol is going <laughs> to come over to. Because they're doing the EVM and all they that, are, so they're actually, gonna come yeah. over. It's kind of cool because what it is is like you have this. You say you have a dead pixel, you can send new resources and change it. Yeah. So 
It's, send it, it NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. Send. Well, yeah. You send resources to the NFT. The user has to accept the resources and it changes your NFT. So mm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Cool. It's, yeah. It's going to be, uh, it might be the next level of where NFTs end up heading. Just to, we'll and I'll, I'll be quick, but just to like give another context. So for example, one of the, other projects that I, I don't know if Ryan is actually still involved within them. It's like you, you, your NFT that you mint is like a dino egg, you know, and then you're sending it like, what are we sending emotes, like happy faces and different things to kind yeah, of shape you send emoticons. The, yeah. You're sending the, the personality of the dino that's going to hatch. And if you literally send it like happy faces, you get like a good dinosaur. And if you yeah. send it bad, you get a dragon. I don't know. I don't know. Right. But, so that's right. kind of how the evolution could work. And I just kind of like the concept of it, but yeah. So with the with you guys, you guys like said send it fud or something and make it angry or like what? I just well, I I just tell it my stories. It's like yeah, bedtime okay. stories. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only one that we're involved in now, and I'm Ryan's mad at me because like there's like a cityscape, and you've got to send it. Like I they don't send know, you the resources to change it, and I've been trying to get you to change it for. And I keep on forgetting because so it's like a cityscape, and you send it to like make it dawn, and you send it to make it dusk. So like my NFT is like behind in like the timeline, and Ryan's like, "Yo, you missed a day. Like you gotta like you gotta make it like." And it's cool when you send it the n- nighttime, yeah. like the lights come on and sh- or you know it just changes, and I'm like, "Oh shit, sorry." So I'm kind of screwing that up, but we'll gotta, see what happens. You gotta step up. It'll be an apocalypse. Anyways, let's move on. I'm sorry. No, it's great. Um, so I, I did check really quickly, um, in there, I'm in their discord, uh, but it's, it's basically just talking about the, uh, the ding token. So mm-hmm. phase two of the LP airdrop has been finalized today. This was on November 9th. Yeah. Uh, so make sure that your liquidity is withdrawn from the program. And then you've, he's got the little, he's got the links there. Uh, 1.1 1. 1 million ding and several hundred pixel war arena NFTs have been airdropped to the corresponding holders. Oh, so just, just some, uh, different things to kind of keep the community engaged. And so that gets people excited, which gets trading volume up. Uh, so that's good. Nothing, nothing, uh, at least in terms of those announcements about the actual, uh, updates on the game yet. Mostly about the, the, the token, but Hey, they're building to- tokens are, yeah, they are, they are, they're building not, and not, tokens are big right now. You got to love yeah. the non custodial staking. That's everybody's. That's the buzzword right now. Yep. There's so. always some buzzword going on, right? Yeah. Um, CNFT trading daily. You'll need ADA to make your Pixels team to be used in the upcoming play to earn. Yeah, player versus player turn based game called Pixel Wars. And the Genesis Pixel holders, which is that 10K collection, are also paid in ADA, not in Ding. So, um, yeah, it's a little, that's a little quick synopsis. Love it. That's cool. Number seven, and someone was asking about this earlier, I blanking on the name, uh, uh, who the person in the chat, Unbothered Wolves. Is sitting at a 140 ADA floor price. This was a project that I was pretty bearish on uh, last week. I, I, I wasn't pulling any punches. I thought that without the mini bull market, this would not have sold out. Uh, mm-hmm. This would not have had received the hype. A million ADA of trading volume. Wow. I'm sorry, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Um, but you know, <laughs> people get excited about things, and you know the the volume goes crazy. Uh, Interesting. 65 ADA mint price, so it's still a 2x, yeah. a 2x yeah. from the mint price. And if you had one of their, basically one of their whitelist to- token NFTs, you can mint, I think, like 10 or something. So you probably, you know, did pretty well there on that one. Um, huh. Yeah, I, I saw your coverage on it, and I agree with everything you're saying. Um, but, but surprise, surprise. Yeah. 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 We miss it again. Un- undocks team <laughs> from what i can see on the website that always gets yeah. me in trouble too because people don't update their websites after the mint they're like on discord they're docs and it's like well i don't know they put it on the website i don't know yeah <laughs> good point i don't yeah, see yeah. any docs faces i don't see any faces on here so that yeah you definitely can't be in every discord too so okay I- so f- for for real though like and i know we don't really but like what it was it really just bear market and like but like what made this i just still don't get it and i know we don't really know but like what do we th- like how <laughs> i it I, looks I, good. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool, but yeah, wow. I I think that it's it's you know Ori Mob had just minted out, and mm-hmm. some other projects had minted out, and they're like, hey, this is just going to be the next thing that mints out. People yeah. be people become a little bit less concerned about what's minting. You, you, your your sentiment. Your it's it, what what is that like the fear and greed index? Yeah, like yeah. the Bitcoin yeah. fear greed index for Cardano NFTs. It was greed. 
you know? Yeah. We were, we were just yeah. kind of like, yeah, take, take 500 ADA to, to mint this project and try to get, you know, something rare or just flip, you yeah. know, flip life. So, um, yeah, I've heard a couple of people talk about that. It looks like Wiley Coyote and I'm like, yeah, it, it, yeah, de- basically. it definitely does. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's what <laughs> I, 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 I just, it's, it's like the website's great and everything's cool. It's just such a bold idea. Like I, I just can't imagine being like Ryan being like, Devon, what do you think of this art? Like, we're going to make this a project and be like, are you sure? Are you sure? Have you heard of Bugs Bunny? Like, are you serious? Bro? <laughs> and then they're like, ah, oh, we minted out. Screw you. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, they're like, hey, stick it to you. Yeah. I, I don't just heard about them. I'm, so. I'm happy. Like, I have this is everything should Cardano. Good. This needs to happen. But yeah, of course. Um, cool. I, I don't know. For me, it's just like I hadn't heard of them until like recently, like well, yesterday, but it kind of has that boss cat thing to me, except yeah. minus the, you know, massive floor price and volume, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. It's just crazy that that that's that's a that's three hundred twenty five thousand ADA yeah. sell out. That's that's a lot of ADA. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. for them. Anyway, yeah, good for them, right? Yes. Just hope they use it wisely. You know. Definitely. All right. uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's not that's not true. I don't I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, number eight, the JPEG junkies, the old um, NFT alpha team. I did a video on them before they minted. <clears throat> It was really funny because their mint price was like, sorry, their mint price was like 65 or like 69 ADA. And it was like, I think like a week because they had, tr- they tried to mint during CNFT con. And so like it, oh. it didn't really sell out very quickly. And like, it was pretty slow. And someone made a comment on my YouTube video and they were like, so how's that floor price? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I said I was going to mint too. I didn't tell you to mint any, and now the floor is three twenty five. So how about that floor price? You know, uh, so you, you're too. That did not age well, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you know, look, NFT Alpha has some great connections. I think the idea of just being able to do, you know, the artwork's okay. I'm not going to lie. It's it's not. It doesn't blow your mind. But like, if it, if it was if it's able to get you some airdrop stu- stuff or like an airdrop token or a hoodie of Clay Nation or a hoodie of Chilled Kongs are another favorite Chrono T project, then yeah, I mean, it's better or utility than 75% of the other stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I think people are, are kind of hating on it and they're like, I can't believe it's this much. I was like, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a art slash utility project. And it's one of the biggest kind of creators in the crypto space that has, you know, a lot of capital to throw at making, giving value to the holders. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't going to count uh, DZ and those guys out. So I don't know. I have, I still have my two. I have one listed. I think it's in the four hundreds because it was it was a little bit of a rarer one, but it hasn't sold yet. So, but. yeah, this one um, hurts me a little bit. Um, we had here we go story time. Yeah, yeah. We, we, <laughs> they make it short. We got tipped off to buy it and didn't. Yeah. Too wow, long, Ryan, that's a, that's the way to do. Okay, that's, I'll try. That's how you do. We got it. tipped off to buy, and they were like, "Do this, it's gonna go crazy." I watched it for a day and a half. And I was like, this is not moving. And I hate the forgot. artwork and I hate this. And I didn't. And I was like, Ryan, what do you think? And Ryan's like, no, this is dumb. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. And here super we are. Super power, man. Super yeah. And I'm super power. mad about it because, yeah. So there we go. There yep. we go. That's the story. That's the yep. story. So, I mean, shout out to Junkies. I, th- I think their announcement, I saw Justin. Uh, There's a video about uh, that Justin was talking about the, um, and I'm, I'm blanking on the, uh, that's kind of like postpartum brain for me, lack of sleep. Uh, but, um, it was something about you had to delist to, so that your your they could do a snapshot of, for something. That was the last, okay. that was the last update I heard. So that's going to obviously raise the floor prices. People delist so that they can get access to whatever, mm. whatever it was. Um, so also in retrospect, what you, congratulations, by the way, on the, the new, your new one oh one. Oh yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was cool. Well said. Yep. Gotta get, I got to jam it in there somewhere. I was like, ah. But no, no, it's good. Perfect segue. Uh, perfect family, segue. Of, family of four now. It's good. It's, uh, uh, number... it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many do you have? I'm at uh, three. Three. So, okay. Yeah. But, You're uh, me a few years in the future. Yeah. Well, yes and no. I got 16, <laughs> six, and two. So I'm all over the place. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That is all over the place. Yes. I got the, yeah. And you still cool. have time to make a podcast. I mean. Shout out to you. Round of applause yep. for Ryan. I Seriously. Mean, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's why you uh, I'm like, don't come out of your room. I'm, I'll be alive. You stay in there. <laughs> yeah. You stay in there. We're live. Yeah. We're doing it live. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Prof says BitBoy Corp would never have let it sink from the start, regardless of any fun. I mean, I, I agree with that. Um, yeah. I know that a lot of people were talking about like Pluto Alliance was an Ethereum kind of. They did a they launched a project on Ethereum called Pluto Alliance, which in terms of floor value isn't doing super well. Uh, so people were like, "Well, is they're just gonna you know do a cash grab on Cardano?" And you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're giving their full effort. I mean, they don't have time because they're doing you know around the blockchain and they're doing they're making their own videos and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not gonna be able to give their, you know, eight hours or 16 hours a day to it. But I was also like, you know, they know this game, they know how NFTs work. They know what's going to be valuable and, and, uh, attractive to holders. So I was like, yeah, I'll mint a couple. And, you know, I, I kind of bet on, uh, DZ and Justin to deliver. They so. su- support the team and back the team. Right. Yep. Yep. There's been a few um, projects like that, that I've minted where it's just like, you're supporting the team. Maybe you're not the biggest fan of whatever, but you know the team behind it's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cabins by Ape Society. We kind of already talked about these. Yeah, uh, yeah. We were mentioning how they were a pretty good play at this point. I think at a seven forty price, considering that when Apes were at the top, cabins were a floor of like sixteen hundred. So I mean, they're they're also down kind of half of where they had topped out on. Now before the before the announcement, they were at like two hundred. Um, and dumb dumb me sold one for like two fifty um, <laughs> before before like five days before the huge pump and i was like why did i even do that um which i had held for a long time anyways this is story time um (laughs) but uh you know if if you're if you have some non-apes which almost anybody at this point has uh, some non-apes that are eligible for staking i don't think i don't necessarily think it would hurt to uh, I, i don't know how much frames are at this point but anyways there's a lot of landmarks i think the factory is a great idea that was their recent landmark reveal as of like last week and it's kind of a minting service that they're well they're partnering with Ada Anvil, which is kind of the, one of the premier minting services, as well as kind of the marketing and community of Ape Society. And they take some percentages off of you know your mint, and it's kind of a launch pad, you could say. But they're calling it the factory. Um, yeah. And depending on if you're in that district, then you get you get payouts from you know for the people that go through that launch pad. Anyways, uh, there's not really much to say in addition to that because we kind of talked Ape Society as the number one project. Yeah. Um, and that and that landmark district floor is much higher because of that announcement. Um, Dustin says, "Just bought a junkie." Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope. I hope it doesn't tank after this. That's uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Boss Cat Alien Clubs. Are, how, are you guys familiar with Boss Cats? Or, I mean, you are familiar with them, obviously, because you've had your podcast. But like, what are what is your opinion on Boss Cats? Is my real question. Brian Vaughn, you go no, ahead. No, you, 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 you go <laughs> they had a lot of fun. You're punch it to the in. other. Yeah, Didn't they have a whole this... bunch of stuff at the beginning when they first came in, where it was like the same wallet. It was just like trading and buying and selling. I can't remember exactly. I, they are on my radar, but they're not. Um, yeah, we do. The artist is actually local to us. Um, if I if I'm remembering correctly. Really? Um, yeah, he's a Canadian guy, I believe. But yeah. uh, I like the artwork and. I don't, other than that, I haven't, I, I was in the discord for a little bit at the very beginning and I was like, what is going on here? And I just, I got out of there, but I don't know. Devon, what do you think, buddy? Throw that shade. No, I don't want to be, I don't like the art. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, Um, I don't think anybody does. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So that was it. That was it. But but in in fairness for like a 28, a mint price. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know. yeah, and it's, it's pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's. I was just like, that's. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that they're doing their thing. I am. Go Canada. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all that's I got. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> we made it. Uh, we made it. To the, we made it through the top ten. I love it. Uh, we've got a couple more talking points. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of them was an interesting thread that I saw. This is in the very bottom of the YouTube description. Uh, just an interesting thread about play to earn and just one one person's thought about the idea of it. I thought it was like, it was worth sharing at least a little bit. Um, just the idea that play to earn doesn't just imply it flat out promises that the average player can earn money by playing a game. Mm. Um, and it's like, let's say a game starts out with 50% of players who want to earn and they're the sellers. The other 50% of players are new and will be the buyers. Um, and this is balanced, but what happens when the 50% who are buyers now also want to earn, they will soon become sellers. So if you have 100% of players who want to earn, you will need 100% of new players to be the buyers. So basically you just have to keep like exponentially growing your game 
And that's what, what, right. at some point, when does that solve? I mean, I feel like Axie had something similar to that where at, at one point in the bull market, like Axie was just like incredible price valuation market cap. Yeah. People were quitting their jobs because they could like make, you know, $200 a day off of like whatever you had to do. Yeah. I, I haven't played it, but um, anyway, so like, it's just the idea of like, maybe instead of calling it play to earn, and I, I'm not saying I'm an advocate or not an advocate for the play to earn title, but the, you should, um, the promise of being able to earn money and you don't earn money or you don't earn as much money. You kind of just automatically like, don't like playing it or don't want to play it. If that's your own, if that's your motivation to actually do it, mm. you should play it. Cause you like the game and you think it's fun. Yeah. Um, and so like he was talking about a study that was shown, uh, it depends on what your motivation is. And, a majority of players' motivation must be to play for fun, and only some of the top players could potentially earn and make money. Like kind of your t- traditional esports, you know, you got these crazy teams who make a lot of money because they're the best at it, and people will watch them, and then they they buy the in-game stuff so that you know basically funds kind of those tournaments and all that kind of stuff. I don't yes. know. It's, it's it's an interesting thread that to read through just as yeah. we start to see the dawn and the the beginning of some of these play to earn games on Cardano. Uh, or whatever they ended up calling them. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. Uh, I didn't read the whole thing, obviously. So I'm kind yeah, of leaving out good. some of the other information. That's my but... kind of reading. I stop halfway. <laughs> hey, Here, the here's TLDR. the TLDR. The yeah, oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> Consider where the money comes from that's paid to players. Uh, money out must c- constantly be balanced with dollars in or a death spiral will begin. I don't think, and, and that's what I was kind of saying about society, not in the fact of the death spiral, but the fact that there's, people who have their frames and their cabins and they're kind of locked in yeah. and they're going to be taking profits along the way. And you need to have an equal amount of new people buying frames and buying cabins and buying, you know, to keep, to balance, to balance it out. Yeah, uh, set expectations and primary motivation must be to be for fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I agree. Yeah. So play to earn, first of all, I think, so I, I agree with a lot of this stuff. Um, and I think sometimes we don't often th- we don't get a good gauge of how big play to earn is and how big it will be. Like, there's yeah. no part of me that thinks like we understand what play to earn will become right now. Um, the like Sony literally filed a patent for some sort of thing so that like PlayStation that so that you can like get your NFTs on there. And yeah. I think like that's the gaming industry. Like the, the games we're seeing now, and no shade to any of the developers who've made things to complement their projects and whatnot are like, you know, um, like they're like primitive games, like not all of them, but you know what I mean? Like you're you're doing like turn-based, simple battling Pokemon style, which is cool. Yeah. People love that. Yeah. But, um, and they're connected with the projects because they're they're a part of them. But like sustainability wise, like these, play, these, these games that do it like are huge. And, you know, Axie got huge, but I'm glad you brought that up because I, I would say earlier on when you said play to earn, I just thought to myself, the only thing that matters for us to talk about right now is Axie because, you know, the Axie Infinity hack, we talked about it on our podcast way back. Bridge. Yeah. Right? And that was, that was crazy. Crazy. Yeah. That was like so the biggest hack. And that actually really brought the industry down a lot. Also, um, like, and not to push our th- content, Blake, Blake's NFTs where you should plug it listen. up. No, plug don't worry about don't sure, worry about sure. non fungible guys. Sure, we talk about stuff, but we ain't shit compared to Blake. But we had an episode <laughs> earlier on in the spring with uh, with poker, ice poker tournament, play to yeah, earn, and man. like like delegating your 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 wearables to have people play. And there were people forming guilds that had people quitting their jobs as nurses in Philippines and many yeah, different yeah. spots. And it was sustainable because you're you're playing your like a card based game like poker it's different yeah, from yeah. your kind of turn based and i think that play to earn for stuff like that is is very different and the models there will be sustainable and kind of go forward cuz poker is not becoming poker is poker you know we're not that's not changing you know yeah. but uh, but games like yeah axie infinity yeah like if you didn't start off at the beginning there was no way you could join that game and that's, make money that's it, what it i was, was going to bring up it got to a point where it was yeah. the normal person could not afford to even join the game Right. Yeah, not at all. You'd no. have to pay. I think someone calculated and it was like in order to pay, play and pay and perhaps make money, you needed like 2000 US dollars. Yeah. So I'd say that staple things that are based in traditional gambling, play to earn, the models are, are they can get pretty complicated, but I think they have some legs and they'll be okay. Play to earn as we see it now with the kind of games that are being developed. I think that a lot of them will die. I think stuff like Sandbox um, and they didn't 
do they they got hit too right but i do think uh stuff like sandbox will will be okay um and i think that play to earn we're going to see it evolve completely differently once the major uh gaming companies like are come in and like actually say okay what we're doing is making it so that you're bringing your nfts and of, of the games that you already know and love or think are, are, are top quality games we're going to make this play to earn in a different way and they're still going to win so play to earn will, will change but I, I i don't know i maybe i kind of half agree and half don't agree so yeah yeah. I, I think it's gonna it's funny because the, there's another version of i guess it would be play to earn that i saw where um there's that pro that ethereum project it was at los miotos or whatever oh yeah that was they cool. they actually created the a website i think it's like clutch dot dio io or something where you log in and be, if you're a holder you could do the beta testing right now but you play games like uh call of duty warzone on your computer oh, yeah. and someone whoever has the most kills in a round will get rewarded with one of their nfts or some kind of token or something so i guess like i don't know how sustainable that could be but i, I like that kind of mechanics of it where you're just playing a game that already exists right, but you're right. getting rewarded and you're connecting your crypto to a website i don't know how you would do it with console based yeah but i kind of like that idea of play to earn where maybe you there's a leaderboard so like say a project doesn't want to give out nfts every day maybe you go back and it's um leaderboards over a month or something like that right yeah yeah it's it's interesting and i and i don't it's hard to know because it's so new it's so young that yeah. we, we haven't really seen it but I, I think it's just interesting to kind of I, I don't maybe the kind of the basis of that conversation is I don't think it's viable to say that every single person that plays a game, whatever that game is in Web3, will be able to make money or Agreed. to be able to make like a, a crazy amount of money to like do, you know. But, you know, maybe you fast forward 20, 30 years and the landscape looks a lot different and there's some massive thing and it's, you know, well, it, it could be possible, but it's just, it's just interesting. And I, I think that, like, and there's one thing that we don't like, we don't say it, but you're right, as you kind of describe with society and whatnot, there's like, Okay, as the person was describing, there's a word that people use to describe needing new players to feed the earnings of the ones that exist. Like there's a shape, you know, that's <laughs> in, the, in the desert that people talk about. <laughs> and those kind of token economics, tokenomics or whatever. Yeah, it's and that's why people that don't understand the, the, the community and the camaraderie and, you know, some of the other utilities that projects bring, they hear that, they fixate, and then you get me talking to someone at a bar being like, it's more than that, bro. They're like, yeah, but you can print the coins infinitely. So how is it not, you know, a thing? Yeah. I'm like, F you, you don't know what you're talking about. But there is some validity to that. And I think the exit strategy is not clear and sustainability over the terms of like a decade it's unless you're having continual adoption, what are you going to do? Like even Netflix is just like hemorrhaging money right, and yeah, cutting yeah. their staff because they got as big as they could get. And like, but the tokenomics of things, you're going to hit a point where dilution or some sort of a bank run happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't Oh Well, I, I don't FTX. think I would. <laughs> oh boy, you want to open that can of worms right now? No, this I'm not. I'm not. I just said it at the <laughs> no, end. No, no, no. I, I get it. I don't. I, I, I wouldn't go as far to say that the ape society is a pyramid, but oh, oh no. Oh yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to imply that. Oh, okay. Be, I'm not it, implying that. Okay. I'm just right. saying general tokenomics as as described in the thread. Sorry about right. that. Got yeah, it. I, yeah. No, no. I yeah. It's I never said that word, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to imply. You, that, you didn't yeah. say it, but you definitely yeah, implied yeah, that. You're right. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's fine. Um. Okay, the last the last conversation the last topic that I that I had and we can uh, feel free to add any other ones or if there's any um uh, we we've got some junky we got some people um junky raid or something uh, why no junky in the thumbnail it had to be in the top four unless uh, the junkies no they were at number eight last time I checked usually I just do top four projects that's why. Um, the last Ooh. one I wanted to talk about, and this was, you know, our episode sponsor, Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe. And then there is another project on Cardano called the Keyboard Warriors or Key Warriors NFT. Uh, so they even they couldn't get their own name on Twitter. Uh, anyways, I'll just say that. Um, <laughs> a year ago, I developed an RPG inspired NFT collection called Keyboard Warriors. I worked with my sister to develop the art. And in February 22, we released on Cardano. Six months later, out of nowhere, I was made aware of another project using our name, DYOR, revealed a concerning history. So here's a Keyboard Warriors logo. That's their logo. And then um, 
on October 21st, there was, that's basically the internet cafe uh, that they're talking about. Um, so I, I don't want to read the whole thing, um, but basically they're in this thread. There's talks of, well, Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe was at CNFT Con. So I think that that brought them a lot of attention of like, hey, you guys haven't even minted and you're going to be at CNFT Con. You came you know, halfway around the world from Australia. That's that's kind of a, you're showing a kind of a positive gesture that you're going to like be here for the long haul. Um, and uh, so there was, there's this project called Blue Chip uh, and it was going to be a DAO and they you know were around the March timeframe. From what I understand, uh, they had a Discord bill and they were, you know, planning to mint. And from what I understand, they had never sold anything. It just kind of fizzled out. Nothing ever came of it. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Anyways, um, and then that that kind of moved on. And and so, some of the team members from that DAO ended up being a part of the Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe. Um, I read through some of this, but uh, basically. <laughs> Basically, the idea is like, hey, Keyboard Warriors is our name. You can't have the name Keyboard Warriors is what it sounds like. Like, we, yeah. we've been here longer. Like, you, you stole our name. Like, you shouldn't be here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, trading data says some CNFT drama. P pick, your, pick your topic. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I, think, I think that a project that has done less than 2,000 ADA of trading volume for since February of 22 can't really like claim a name. Uh, that's my take on it. Um, also the fact that the internet cafe is pretty art heavy and they're not trying to build a video game. They're going to do, yeah. they're going to play around some stuff in the metaverse, but I, I wouldn't consider that the same thing. And these guys are trying to be a RPG PVP card game. Card game. I don't yeah. think those are similar at all. Uh, I think those are kind of two different parts of NFTs. Um, so I, I think I think it's a stretch to say that um, you know they sh you should fud them and you shouldn't mint their project. Um, honestly, like I, I I don't know if they knew that there was a name keyboard warriors or not, but honestly, like I honestly wouldn't care because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to think of different examples and some people I was going back and forth with some people in in Discord and um, like if. I was trying to think of and this is probably not a very good example. Someone's going to rip me in the comments, but I'll try okay. to explain it anyways. Like if somebody it wanted to for, for right. Thanksgiving, if somebody wanted to make like a cornucopias NFT, you know, and it's like the artwork of like a cornucopia, like would, would we would be like going on Twitter being like, I can't believe there's already a cornucopias. Like you can't, you can't make <laughs> this project. Like just because the name is the same. Yeah, I don't know if that's yeah. like, no, that kind of works. That works. And, that I'm with it. I'm and, with and, it. Now, if you if you someone was like, well, what if you did like Space Buds Internet Cafe, you know, and and then it's like, okay, well, maybe maybe there's, some, but then Astro Buns minted out, and like yeah. that was a whole thing. So it's yeah. it, it's a very yeah. gray area, and I think you really have to make your own decision on whether that's a red flag for you. But for me, I'm like, you know, if if you had if you were a top ten project and like you were crushing it, I don't think anybody would try to take your name because you were already established. Like nobody would try to like go into like come into your shadow right. of like your yeah. brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I, I think the opportunity was open and they were like, yeah, let's let's just name it Keyboard Warriors Internet Cafe. I don't know. What's the concern? Because everyone's going to short form it to Keyboard Warrior. I mean it is too the, the, the projects will be uh confusing. Like nobody will yeah. know which one is which or like you guys stole our name and now like we were here first kind of thing. <sighs> That's I, I feel like those are the two or maybe the they are playing like you, you guys already minted and rugged. I, I don't think yeah, Maybe that's what they were trying to say too. I don't know. Can you scroll, Blake? Yeah, I want to yeah. see the artwork a little bit. Mm. It's completely different. Yeah, like so different. Um, what you said about volume, like look at the volume, the trading volume speaks to like you know what's up, and it's, it's a like, very small project. If you're trying to, I am. I see maybe what you're trying to do, like punch up or whatnot. Like you should, if you were big enough, the community would speak and bring it to your attention. And if you're announcing this being like, hey, what the hell? I think you're probably just, you probably should just kind of keep building and do your thing. And you're completely different from this other project. I know it's tough because they, they've got their name, but right. I think considering the size, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to think what I would do. I, I, I think maybe I just wouldn't have picked the name. I would, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, yeah. Again, everybody should make yeah. their own decision. I think 
I think that's not enough for me not to mint this one. And but it looks go, so go through cool. the thread. Go through the thread. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's in the description at the very, very bottom. It's the last, it's the last link. You should read through it. Obviously, get both sides of the story. Um, obviously, I want to give a little bit for those of you that are they're obviously an episode sponsor. So like mm. I'm uh I want to give both sides. So I, I read the thing, at least part of the thing, and I'm giving you the opportunity to look at it. Yeah, so yeah. you guys make your own decision. You guys are all Have adults. you seen the artwork for the episode sponsor? <laughs> it's so oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's great. It's incredible. It really is. Screw that. There's like 600 traits. So yeah, it, it's so much. Doesn't and really all matter. the little like Easter eggs of like they had that. Didn't they have um, a contest where it was like name the 10? Oh, what was it? It was way back a couple, like a month ago, where you had to name all the different, uh, like the prod, the traits of what you were looking at, where they came from. There's yeah. Some contests. I can't remember. Like, exactly. Yeah. What the reference was. Yeah. Like the, there's like, yeah, there's a lot. Like there's Dragon Ball Z in there. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not I, a big mentor and yeah. I don't know if I should say this or not, but I'm, I'm actually going harder than I've ever gone on any minute for this one. But <laughs> nice. we'll, we'll see. I, I could get burned by that, but like, well, I, we're going to mint this too, except we're going to forget. Gonna Right after, <laughs> yeah. No, you know like what? We'll what do? We'll November twenty fifth at two p.m. Okay, what 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 time zone? Eastern, Eastern. UTC oh, that's us. For, 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 for the for the whitelist men. If you're not in the whitelist, it'll right, be twenty four right. hours from then. So November twenty sixth at two p.m. Eastern time. You know yeah, I think I can forget on. I that won't day. forget. Yeah, I can forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'll to be do napping that. that day. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. much. November twenty. All right, Ryan. Right. Let's try to do it. Let's do it. All right. Anyways, uh, I haven't even I haven't even said it once yet. This uh, what's the UTC time? I think it's plus five hours. What, so yeah. that would be um, oh, seven p.m. seven p.m. Yeah, UTC it's plus five hours for us. Yeah, United Time Council. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's great. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this live stream, uh, please like and subscribe. Obviously, at the top of the YouTube description is the non fungible guys uh, Twitter. Apple, Spotify, go check them out. Listen to their episodes. They're great guys. We had a, it was a blast talking with you guys. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having us. Thank I think having. I had too much fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I, I'm surprised we made it under an hour and a half. So that was, that was yeah, good. I'll take good. that as a, as a victory. It was getting um, close there. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for having us on. It's been awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, I, uh, this last question I'll answer, in which the answer is, I don't know. Um, I think... You should definitely join the Discord and ask. I know they wanted to they wanted to do a pretty good amount, like a large percentage of it whitelisted, mm. but I think there's going to be a decent amount that's going to be public for 65 ADA, only 65. And what ADA, is the so. the collection's like 8000 or something you said? 8888. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Yep. That's all right. right. Uh we, we love to chat on Discord so you can join that. I won't I won't plug all my stuff. I'll just say the Discord to, to end it off. But Anyways, we'll be back next week. We've got a couple other interviews that will be uh, that I've got planned, and we'll be recording here for, before the end of next week. So uh, keep your ear to the ground for those. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys next week. Sweet, peace, peace out.